It's the sound of your life, OFM. Good morning, breakfast proudly brought to you by Accident Angels. And after captivating the world audience on Britain's Got Talent, joining us this morning in studio, Brendan Peel. So you're a real-life magician. Uh, you know, I try to be. And hello to all the listeners and everyone there in OFM country who's listening right now. Thank you very much for having me. And yes, uh, I am I am a magician, <laughs> indeed. Okay. Also, uh, one of your tricks or your performances on, on Britain's Got Talent, it was probably the first time in my life where I saw... Simon Cowell truly knocked out of his boots. Yeah, you know, it was quite crazy. Uh, it was a very surreal kind of experience to actually stand there on stage and kind of because the judges are just like three, four meters away from you. They're very close. Like, okay, not as close as we are right now, but yeah. very, very close. And you can see their facial reactions and everything. And it was surreal to kind of just look at them and see them looking back at you and you know, it was just crazy how their reactions were, especially Simon Cowell's. Like, uh, I, I wasn't really expecting that, to be honest. But, <laughs> you know, it's sometimes you have to expect the unexpected, I guess. Okay, but when you approached your parents <laughs> for the first time and you said... When I was born, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you said, listen, okay, so this is what I'm going to do with my life. I'm going to become... A yeah. Wait for it. <laughs> magician. And yeah. then, poof, you disappeared. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> what was their reaction? You, you know what? Um, and people do kind of sometimes ask me that kind of question. To be honest with you, I didn't exactly just one day decide this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life or this is what I'm going to do as a career option. It was a very kind of organic type of growth. So I started off doing walk around magic, mainly card tricks and stuff um, at a restaurant in PE where I'm originally from. Um and from there, I started getting booked for like small events, kids shows. And from the kids shows, you get booked for like older people shows, like 50ths and stuff like that. And then you get booked for corporate events. So it was a kind of a, a natural progression. It wasn't like one day I just decided this is what I want to do. Uh, even though I've always obviously had a passion for magic and the art of illusion. And that's what it is. It is illusion. All right. There's no such thing as real magic. What? Uh, yeah, I know. No, now you're but, breaking my dreams. Right? No, no, no. But we make it look real. That's kind of the whole game that we play on stage is that we make it look real. Uh, and the better you can make it look, yeah, the more entertaining it is in my mind. But, but yeah, I know. Uh, but my parents, I mean, you know, they've been very supportive of me uh, over the years. Um, you know, especially my mom. She's assisted in every way she can. Uh, you know, she's actually here now uh, in Bloom as well. <laughs> We've just done a show this weekend, um, you know, at the Windmill Casino. And, you know, her and my dad have, are here and they've been helping out uh, with the show. So they are supportive of it. But I guess most parents would be a little bit skeptical at first to hear uh, any, you know, their, any kid or their kid rather uh, to want to go into any form of the entertainment industry because it is such a, you know, a fickle industry as it were. Brendan Peel, full-time magician on the Good Morning Breakfast. You're a full-time magician, right? So you, yeah. you make enough money to make a living out of magic. You know, I've been fortunate enough that I'm still here surviving. I can eat every day and uh, I can stay warm at night. <laughs> so that's it. So. And you're happy. you're happy. I'm happy. That's the main thing. Yeah. Okay. So uh, after breaking my dream, saying that magic's not well, <laughs> no real. magic is according semi-real. to you, yes, according yeah, to I you, know. because I'll be honest, I am a very low key, low budget, um, part time, very part time <laughs> magician. Okay? <laughs> okay. My wife, who will be joining us shortly, and and my six year old son, uh, she bought him one of those magic boxes. Okay. And then I was the one. Oh yes, yeah. Actually, you'll be surprised. Time. In some of those magic boxes, you can actually get some really quality stuff uh, that can really blow minds. Um, I know a lot of people. Oh, kind of, I know. I blow minds every day. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I said, part-time magician. Yeah. I know you know, exactly what you're talking about. You know about. what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, so Brendan, when when someone approach you and go, okay, cool, like you're a magician, can you make me disappear? Uh, yeah, you know, um, I say that is illegal here in South Africa. I'm getting around. <laughs> no, no, I do get, you know, I get very similar questions genuinely now as a magician. I do get very similar questions. What's the strangest question you've ever got? Uh, uh, who are you and why are you inside my house? Uh, like <laughs> no, I'm kidding around. I'm kidding around. No one's asked me that yet. <laughs> no, no, no. I would say the strangest, uh, the strangest kind of question I may have um, got. Well, the strangest, most common one as well is a lot of 
older gentlemen come up to me and ask me, number one, can I cut their wife in half or uh, can I make their <laughs> wife disappear or something like that. Uh, and I always say, you know what, I can cut your wife in half. I just don't know if I can put her back together. But no, that is kind of one of the, the, the random requests that I get quite a bit, you know. Um, it's hard for me to think of the very strangest question. Uh, there was one headline, though, just thinking of like interesting and funny things on this topic. There was one headline the one time uh, that called me a Sangoma. And I'm just like, that's what? an interesting way of calling me because I'm like a stage magician and illusionist. But anyway, I thought that was quite funny as well. What would you say is your best stunt or act or illusion? Um, you know, you know, like it's like trying to pick a favorite child, I suppose. And that's easy. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you only have one. Oh, yeah, that's true. Eh? That's yeah. true. But uh, no, no, no. Like, I, obviously, I do have a few kind of tricks up my sleeve, as it were, that I do really love. But I, I must obviously say the one that kind of really put me on the map uh, is one that I do with my escape artist partner that you saw on Britain's Got Talent. Uh, and it was also on Romania's Got Talent. Ooh. I know, right? Sure. <laughs> How did that end up That's happening? That's a lack of change of space. Uh, but uh, basically that kind of effect or trick, if you want to call it that, stunt, as it were, with the crossbow and the Rubik's Cubes and all that type of thing, I would say that's probably uh, some of my best work and our best work when it's me and Lee Lau, who I do the show with, uh, who I do that act with and specifically. Um yeah, I, I kind of have to mention that one because that's the one, like I said. How old are you now? Uh, if you would take a guess, what would you guess? Oh, uh? okay, no. Then, then I know, you're still young, eh? Yeah. Like, because that's usually the thing. Oh, who old is you? Oh, yeah, Rai, Rai. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with 24, 25. Oh, wow. No, I'm a bit older than that. I, I actually just I turned 29 a couple months ago. Ah, oh, so, lacquer. So I'm almost 30. Okay. They said it's all downhill from there, though, so I don't know. It is. Um, <laughs> Also, you're going to wake up and the first thing you're going to need is like pain pills. Oh, yeah, or, no, exactly. Or something. But uh, so how long have you been into magic? Uh, so I kind of started off um, kind of with that like a magic box type of thing as well. Same kind of story there. And I started off when I was about 12 years old, really. I, I think I got the box when I was 10, but I was only kind of 12 when I started really getting into it. Yeah. Um, and just from there. So, so 17 years now of kind of just doing tricks. Um, I would say 10 years of doing it quite seriously, like being on stage and things like that, because uh, that's what I mainly try and do now is stage shows. Okay. Um, I still do kind of the walk around magic, close up magic, but I mainly these days do do stage stuff, which I really enjoy. Magician Brendan Peel joining us this morning on the Good Morning Breakfast. Okay, Brendan, so I thought, hey, you are a magician. So let's get an audience in this morning. <laughs> so I brought someone that believes everything, my six-year-old son, and someone that believes nothing. Well, <laughs> at least nothing I say. My wife. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so they are joining us this morning. Noah, Donya, Laka. All right. Okay. So, uh, Brendan, you brought a deck of cards? Uh, you know, yeah. I, th I thought it would be a classic thing to do. Oh. Uh, are there any alterations made to that? deck of cards no 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 this is a genuine deck of cards this is a bicycle deck i'll actually take out the jokers though because i have no time for jokers um <laughs> except for you obviously <laughs> but no i don't like to actually use the jokers in the deck but genuinely you can actually go and buy this deck of cards uh from pick and pay for like 30 rand um otherwise i'll actually sell you this deck of cards after the show for 50 rand if you really want <laughs> well, okay so profit. yeah exactly <laughs> so not only can you do cool tricks but the one thing you can make disappears money yes yeah, that's no, fantastic exactly. <laughs> okay so uh, i'm gonna get my son in on this uh noah yeah uh, you know what actually uh, actually two people can help me out with this card trick. Okay, i think cool. that would be pretty cool like um but i think noah you're definitely going to help out here if that's cool so uh noah you've obviously seen a deck of cards and everyone here in the uh you know, studio audience, as it were, uh, will be the eyes of the audience. I know okay. we're also recording here as well, so we'll have some eyes on us as we go. But um, you can just verify that all of this is correct, obviously. So you can see here that all these cards are completely different, right? Yeah. They're all completely different. You can trust me. I'm a magician. Right? <laughs> uh, that's so, like saying, trust me, I'm a politician. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, same thing, actually. Uh, that's, uh, I'm actually going to go into politics in the next 10 years, so that's great. All right, okay. so uh, Noah, okay? Noah, 
I would like you to just touch the top of one card, all right? I'm going to fan out the cards. No, just touch one card, any card you like. Uh, the, you touch the top one. Are you sure you want to touch one in the middle maybe? Make it a bit more. You want the top one. Are you very sure? Okay, no. Go ahead. Take your card then. Fantastic. And ma'am, please go ahead. Also, just take a card, any card you like. All right? Anyone. Just take it out of the deck. Fantastic. So each of you are going to look at your cards and try and remember them. Okay. Um, and show you can show you can show them. I'll, I'll actually look away and just verify that I'm looking away. You can show them around as well to everyone in the camera, uh, just so that everyone has the cards in mind. Now, it's please. It is quite important that you remember the cards, though. Can you guys do that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So long as you try and remember. Mm. No. Did you show your dad as well the card? Okay. Fantastic. So you can help just in case. But uh, Noah. Remember your card and just pop it back into the pack, all right? Okay. Face down usually works best. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> you did put it face up in the pack there. But no, no, no. Okay, and then, um, sorry, basically, um, yeah, you, you also have your card. You, you took a look at it, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Just pop it back into the pack as well, just like that. Okay. That was face down that time, just so the audience knows. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I will start with your card because I did kind of see it a little bit, right? <laughs> but before I do that, I first want to shuffle the deck and I'll do it into the microphone so you can hear it, hear it shuffle as well. Wow. You need to go and work at a casino, right? Oh, yes, yeah. No, yeah. You, you have a shuffle on you. <laughs> yeah, no, shuffle them. Um, that's actually the best way to shuffle. It's called a table shuffle, by the way. Uh, but no, we're going to start with your card, all right? Um, because I did I did see it, but it's not really about that, right? Um it's about basically mixing up the cards and hopefully I can find your card. In fact, you're going to help find your card, right? So, Noah, uh, we need a magic word, right? So, Noah, anything you like, what magic word would you like us to use here today? Anything you like, Noah. Any, any mic and talk noise. <laughs> Into the microphone, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Abracadabra. Abracadabra. It's a classic. It's a classic. The actual magic word is please. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I like abracadabra. That's a perfect magic word. And just snap just like that, abracadabra, and I tap the deck just like that. And hopefully your card hopefully pops to the top of the deck, the five of spades. Is that your card, Noah? Yeah. Yes? Okay. That's actually the first time that's ever worked. So that's great. <laughs> Noah, <laughs> can you just come stand over here if you don't mind, right? Uh, now, Noah, I'm going to place your five of spades face down on the table over here. You're going to put your finger on top of it just like this, right? Now, go ahead. Put your finger on top just like that. Fantastic. Uh, now, we need to find your mom's card as well. You remember your card, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Fantastic. In fact, um, let's get the whole family involved here, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, what I want you to do right now is I want you to just – I'm just going to riffle down – the pack like this and you're just going to say stop wherever you like wherever you say stop that's where i'm going to cut the pack and you're going to take a card all right okay so say stop i'll go nice and slow stop wherever you like stop right there okay that you went quite high all right when i was riffling through the pack okay it means that actually you would be a good lawyer by the way it tells me a lot about you <laughs> where you say stop in the deck really yeah why no, I, <laughs> I just said <say> that <laughs> but obviously you could have said stop on any card and I, yeah. I genuinely stop there take that card don't look at it just yet alright um, and don't show anyone okay but now you're holding a card honestly do you remember the name of your card mm. was it John by any chance <laughs> <laughs> no no uh, what was your card into the mic three of spades three of spades was it really the three it of really spades was. take a look and with a nice yes, is that the three of spades that you've just taken out? That would be pretty crazy, right? Is that know. the three is of spades? Is it? No, you tell me. That's the five of spades. So the three of spades is under Noah's finger. Is that the... Five of spades. This isn't, this isn't the three that of spades. This Noah's is Noah's card. card yeah. yeah. Because Noah right now has his finger on one card. Take a look. Is that the three of spades? No, no way. No. How? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Like magic. Thanks so much, That's guys. That's insane. That is absolutely ridiculous. Brandon uh, Peel <laughs> joining us on the Good Morning Breakfast. How? Okay, I know a magician never shares his oh, secrets, yes. but how <laughs> do oh, you do it? Very I mean, well, I, thank you. So, so, <laughs> so the thing is, I try to check everything except yes. the trick. Yeah. Okay? Your sleeves were rolled up. 
Oh yes, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just wearing the sleeves because it's actually really cold here. Yeah, no, no, no. But I mean, that's that's <laughs> usually the thing, and that's where the saying comes from. Oh, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. And they're like, you'd be oh. surprised how little I actually ever use sleeves ever. Yeah, I know. And actually, a lot of magicians, which makes it more entertaining though. As okay, well, so would you say the old saying, "The more you look, the less you see." That is exactly right. Yes, I, I think in my in my kind of experience, I would say. The harder you are trying to figure something out, uh, usually the more you're not going to figure it out, if that makes sense. Uh, it's not an exact science, but that is generally, in my experience, the people that are really like, they're really analyzing every single little thing. They're the ones who usually, uh, you know, miss the trick, as it were. Okay. I Noah. I don't want to give too much away. Though. Noah. <laughs> um, so, Brendan said earlier, that magic isn't real. <laughs> nee. Maar nadat jy daai gesien het, <laughs> did it blow your mind? Is magic real of, of nie? Yeah. Jy praat. Wil jy praat nie? Okay, <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, and, Danya, you don't ever believe anything, well, at least anything I say. <laughs> Would you say that magic is real as a fully grown human being that's able to think for yourself? That was insane. That was real. Yeah. That thank was you. real magic. Yeah, you know, and that's the thing. <laughs> uh, we try and create this kind of illusion. I shouldn't have said like magic isn't real because yeah. the feeling of magic yeah. is real. Uh, you know there's no real human possible way that that card can genuinely change in his hands, right? But, but it watching, did. Yeah, but it, it did and it happened here in studio. And that feeling that you guys all had, yeah, that, you that is the magic. Almost. Yeah, that is the magic. Yeah, so magic is actually real. I take back what I initially said. <laughs> 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 Brendan Peel. Okay, Brendan, do you have another trick up your sleeve for us? You know what? I'll tell you what. Let, let's try something a bit more experimental. Okay. Because uh, also I, I like to do things with the mind as well. I don't only do card stuff and like more visual things. I do like to do um, tricks of the mind as it were as well. Now I have my phone. Okay. Um, now, on everyone's phones, usually you have uh, like notes, you know, like a list of notes. Yeah. Um, and I do also have a list of notes. And my list of notes, I actually list out random things, all right? I'm not like <laughs> – I do also have like shopping lists and stuff that most people <laughs> also do. But I also list out like my favorite movies, top 100 favorite movies. Uh, you know, I list out like superhero characters, stuff like that. Uh, there's also another list where I've listed out 100 celebrities, and I've literally even numbered them one to a hundred. All okay. right. I think if if you're happy to help out with this one, yeah. that would be great. So literally, I've numbered them from one to a hundred. All right. Okay. Uh, all I would like you to do now is just give us and the listeners as well any number you like between one and a hundred. What would you like? 53. 53. Now, I'm going to give you a chance. Would you like to change your mind or no. are you happy with the mind you have? 50. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm You're happy with it? Happy I would like to your, change yeah. my mind, but I'm fine with my option. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with your option. No, take a look, all right? I'm going to come step a little bit closer if that's okay over yeah, here. Yeah, please. Um, so, basically, I'm just going to go over to notes over here. Hopefully, you can see comfortably in the slide. Just uh, on my phone, press notes if you'd be so kind, okay. right? No, uh, you pressed. remember your number. Uh, the top one says celebrities, right? Your number yes. was again 53. 53. Okay, yeah. scroll down, take a look. Are all these celebrities different? Just verify Tom Hanks, Kim Kardashian, Frank Sinatra, yeah, Michael you Jackson. You don't need to read Leo. all of them because there's like so, 100, but yeah, you get the picture, they're, they're, all different. It, they're all different. Scroll down to your number. You said 53, right? Scroll down to 53. And just take a look. Uh, is that a celebrity? Someone you that really is know in or heard? Indeed, I've definitely heard of him. Heard of him, all right. Um, and in fact, who is it? Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Yeah. But now, if you see it, and and you can take a look, I'll I'll show you, I'll show our studio audience here as well. These are all obviously completely one hundred percent different. It's not like they're all the same kind of person yeah. or whatever. If you said, for example, sixty four, it would be a dull. We all know a dull as well. Um, if you said, you know, 92, it will be Denzel Washington, the actor. You get the picture, yeah. right? But you said 53, and we landed on a free choice, which was Ed Sheeran, right? Okay. Ed Sheeran. Is there any possible way I could have known that? No. No, not really, right? No. What if I told you that before the show, just an hour before the show, or a couple hours before the show, I went onto Instagram and made a post, all right? Do you have your phone and do you have Instagram? Yeah. 
please, uh, if you don't mind, going to your phone, all right? And also the listening audience right now can do the same as well. Is just go onto Instagram and I would like you to type in my handle, which is at Brendan Peel Magic, which is B-R-E-N-D-O-N-P-E-E-L-M-A-G-I-C, all right? Like Brendan Peel Magic, at Brendan Peel Magic. That is my handle on Instagram. I would like you to go onto Instagram and uh, let me know when you're there and when you found my um, handle, Brend, uh, Brendon, yes, Brendon with a Brendon with an O. Oh, with an O. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, and then space P double E L, and it should pop up first. In fact, there Brendan Peel right Magic, Brendan got Peele it. Magic. And take a look at the very latest post on my feed. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no, no. No, that is, and it says exactly an hour ago. Oh, how? Oh. How? How? No! <laughs> that is a photo of Ed Sheeran right over there oh, on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because... How? <laughs> there's, there's absolutely no context yeah. to you posting a photo of yeah, Ed know, Sheeran. Right? On, People on still Instagram. like it, though. so so not not only am I confused, but all your followers on Instagram yeah. are also going. What the? Yeah. Uh, how? <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed that, though, and and thanks so much for that. Yeah, I love that, Brendan. You, you're a class act. Um, you you blew my mind. <laughs> you blew my mind definitely. Uh, go check it out on Instagram. We'll we'll share all the details with you, Brendan. We wish you all the best. So. It was first South Africa, then Britain's Got Talent. Next up, you might be the next Houdinho. Yeah, who knows? Or the first Brendan Peel. Who knows? I love that. <laughs> I love that. It's a good morning breakfast brought to you by Accident Angels. It's the sound of your life, OFM.